First off, you're going to spray your mirror with a lot of slip solution. What we're trying to do here is trying to get the contamination off the mirror one last time before we actually put the PPF. You're going to use squeegee strokes all the way through and even strokes until all water and slip solution is off. Shortly after, you're going to spray a lot more with slip solution and make sure you get generous with the slip. We're going to go ahead and peel and spray the inner part of the PPF and place it on the actual mirror. For the alignment, what you're going to be focusing on is the bottom edge and the right edge. Just make sure that you're aligned in the bottom and the right side, about three to four inches out. You're going to grab your tack solution and you're just going to peel back just a little bit, spray some tack solution and put it back down. It can get a little bit misaligned, so just make sure you align it back to where it was. And what I like to do is use gentle strokes just to make sure that the squeegee doesn't move the PPF piece. And once you get it completely anchored, you could get a little bit more harder with your squeegee strokes. You'll feel that it is fully anchored and you're ready to stretch across the mirror. For this section, we're going to make sure we have enough slip solution underneath and on top of the PPF. What we're doing is we're stretching slightly across the mirror and the indicator is we're going to get rid of what we call all the wrinkles. As soon as you don't have any wrinkles, that's how you know you have enough stretch. Once you get enough practice, we're going to go ahead and spray some tack solution onto the outer edge and we're going to use our palm to stretch it across until all fingers in the bottom and top is gone. We're going to go ahead and squeegee down the middle and go downwards. Once we squeegee the bottom portion, go ahead and squeegee upwards, making sure you get all the wrinkles above it. If the fingers and wrinkles keep coming up, don't worry. All you need to do is spray some tack solution and that'll make it go away. You're going to go ahead and spray some tack solution all around the edges and this will ensure that it actually sticks and holds. Go ahead and do for the bottom edges and the other side edges as well. Don't forget to spray tack solution on the top edge as well and go ahead and squeegee upwards to get the tack solution and anchor all the remaining edges. And what we're actually doing here is making sure that all edges are completely anchored so that you're setting it up for piece B. This is really important because we are seaming it between the two pieces together. Go ahead and grab piece B and spray slip solution on the bottom and the top side. Go ahead and lay it down. This doesn't require a lot of stretch. What we're going to be doing here is aligning the right part and we're going to spray a little bit of tack solution and gently align it so that it aligns with piece A and also aligns to the outer edge of the mirror piece. Once you feel pretty comfortable, be gentle with the piece. Again, there should be no stretch at this point. Go ahead and peel back and spray a little bit more tack solution. And we're gonna go ahead and gently squeegee the, the tack solution out. When you're seaming, it's really important to make sure that it doesn't overlap and it's right butted against each other. Go ahead and squeegee the remaining tack solution out to make sure it is fully anchored. Once that corner is tacked, you're going to go ahead and make sure that the bottom piece A and piece B is completely aligned and seamed together. There shouldn't be too much stretching involved in this process since you did most of the stretching in piece A. You're going to make sure that it is loosely aligned and go ahead and spray some tack solution where it meets together. You're going to gently align it so that all the edges are touching each other and again, not overlapping. What helps is running your fingers across, again, making sure that there is no overlap. And while you're running it across, using your squeegee and the pointy side to make sure that all slip and tack is out of the area. Once you have the bottom part completely anchored, go ahead and squeegee the top and the outer edge completely. 
You may have some fingers, but that's okay. We're going to be using some tack solution to make sure that it stays down. Go ahead and spray some tack solution where you see some fingers and wrinkles and gently move your squeegee across to completely anchor that. It's easiest to go diagonally instead of going directly into it when you are squeegeeing out wrinkles. Go ahead and do it for the remaining fingers or wrinkles that you have left. Some fingers may be pretty persistent, but don't worry, just go ahead and spray more tack solution and slowly get it out. If it continues to persist, one tip that I would recommend is just getting a towel and making sure that you absorb all the slip or tack so no moisture can get back into it. You have a small finger right here. I spray some tack solution and let it rest just a little bit and I gently make sure I get the tack solution out and then that makes sure that it goes away completely. We're going to go ahead and wipe it down with a clean microfiber to check our work, making sure that there are no bubbles. But keep in mind, if there are bubbles, make sure that you don't squeegee to the area that you tacked. So just a reminder, we tack the outer edges for piece A and we tack the pointy area for piece B. Once you feel like your work is good, you're ready to get on to the next piece.